Hey guys, what's up? And I'm sure you're wondering what this is. Well, as you can see by the title that just appeared on screen, this is Demon Souls. Now, this is one of my favorite games of all time. It's rapidly rose to that status as I finally got a hang of the mechanics and whatnot. So, I wanted to do a Let's Play. I wanted to do something different, create a new character, try something that is maybe a little challenging. And, uh... Hopefully entertain you guys with with the uh, oh it's 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 fading out. Let's stop that. Uh, basically, just do something that'll be a little challenging, because the hype surrounding Bloodborne's announcement has got me kind of like oh I want I want to play I want to play more Demon Souls. So we are gonna play we're gonna play Demon Souls here. Actually, no, I don't want to be in online mode. I want to I want to sign out because I want to be able to control the world tendency, which I'll get into later. Um, let's just go back to the title screen and start that over again. I don't want, yeah, I don't want to do online mode because I don't want to get invaded. I don't want my world tendency to be influenced by other players. I want to be able to control it so I can go to pure white to get certain objects if I want them, certain items if I want them, or go to pure black if I want certain things. So, uh, I know that the build I'm going to go with here, let me actually... There, now I've got it up on my computer because I have, like, I have a build planned out for this. I'm starting with the Temple Knight class because I want to do a faith build. Hopefully, en en ending up using the uh, the weapon Istarel, which is a spear that scales with faith. So I'm starting with Temple Knight because it's got a high faith stat, and uh, I'm basically going to be focusing on uh, faith and vitality on this on this character, and everything else I'll basically get to what I need it to be to use the equipment I want. Now, I have two male characters already, it would be... And I kind of want to see the different female armor sets. So I think I'm going to go with a female character here. And, uh... I'm not really good at coming up with names, so I'm just going to name this, uh, this character after... The weapon I plan to use with it, Isterel. This is the old school PS3, uh... Keyboard here, like... It's so awkward looking. <laughs> Let's go mess with my appearance. Uh, I'm just gonna go randomize. What do I wanna do? North, west, north. Eh, eh. Let's do north, I guess, and mess around until we get something that doesn't look terrible. Cause I'm not good at you. I'm not good at using the character creator on this game at all. You get some weird looking faces. <laughs> that's that's for sure. Um, I don't know. That's not terrible if we just. Maybe age a bit, and uh, hair color. What to go with? Should go with red. Let's go with red, and maybe change eye color to I don't know. Like, let's see if we can get blue or something. That looks. <laughs> it's like a really <laughs> vibrant looking blue. Uh, eye size maybe. Tone that down a bit and space them out a bit more. I don't know. Uh, I mean, that looks that looks solid. That looks all right. And uh, origin. That ch that just changes things up a bit. East, south, north. Let's go with that. Maybe. Uh, how do I change skin color? I don't know. I'd have to go mess with a bunch of stuff. Let's just go with that as my character and uh... okay let's start <laughs> let's get this this let's play underway you can probably hear me um... sipping on water in the background i'll try to cut that out as much as i can but it's summer the weather's warm i like having that little bit here i'll shut up and let you guys watch this cutscene now prosperity to his northern kingdom of boletaria that is until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valarfax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old king Alant had aroused the old one, the great beast below the nexus, 
from its eternal slumber, and that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls also lose their minds. The mad attack the sane, and chaos reigns. Valorfax spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force, and the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land, but none have returned. Bjor of the Twin Fangs, Yurt the Silent Chief, Sage Urbane, Skurver the Wanderer, the Sixth Saint Astraea and her knight Garl Vinland, and Sage Frake the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Alright, so I've I've actually I haven't watched that cutscene in a long time. I'm gonna play the journey to the Nexus, which is basically the tutorial. Because of the... Uh, I've never used this class. I've never played as the Temple Knight. I know they have a Halberd to start off with. So it just kind of gives me some time to learn the uh, the move set for the weapon that I'm going to be using here for the first little bit. Uh, at least until I get myself a spear. Because that will be... I'll run with that. I'll, I'll, I'm going to run with a spear until I get Isterel. Because that's those are the weapons I want to use with this character. Um... Like I said, I'm going to be focusing on a faith build, so I'm also going to be using... Uh, I'm basically going to try and... Uh, work with, with like, blessed Did weapons and, and faith-based weapons yeah, and uh, miracles. A lot of miracles. Maybe not a ton of miracles, because I've never really... I've never really used them in this game besides, like, second chance and evacuate. Uh, but I start off with heal here, which should, which will uh, be useful. I've got a talisman of God right here already. Uh... So I start off with that. Now you can see my equip burden is almost maxed out because of all my armor and weapons and whatnot. Uh, so it's going to make it difficult for me to roll, but I'll just keep the protection because it's going to be a while before I can roll cleanly anyways. Uh, but just for the tutorial, since it's not too difficult, I can just take a bunch of this stuff off and kind of show you what I'm talking about. Like Here you can see I can roll really nicely. And if I have that armor on, it's just like, it's a much slower and rougher landing. Your sprinting will even be slower as well, so... Uh, just for the tutorial, I'll keep this off for the added maneuver maneuverability, I guess. That's the word. <laughs> a little tongue-tied? Uh, tongue 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 there we go. Got it that time. So that's a pretty big sweeping motion. Let's try the, uh, the two-handed. That's an even longer... Swing up, so that does more damage, but I'm not sure it's worth the uh, that huge delay at the start. All right, these are just tutorial messages. I do know how to play the game. I've got uh, well over a hundred hours played on this, so this could be an area to do the two-handed swing. Just give it a bit of time to charge, and there we go. Ooh, okay. Yikes! Oh wow, okay, okay. This is. I have a nice long reach, but. Uh takes a while to wind that attack up. I'll have to use that reach to my advantage, just try and keep my distance from enemies. Now, like, when I've played this game in the past, like, the two characters I've spent the most time on that I have the most experience with, I'm using swords on both. So using a, uh, a big-ass weapon like a halberd here with this huge reach and long swing time wind-up 
is uh, is very awkward for me. Very different. So that's why I am playing the tutorial, like I said. And it's not that long. It's just a quick little thing to run through and kind of get a hang of things. Uh, okay. Lose a little bit of health. Back in the action. There's a few guys here to kill. Uh, just let this guy come in. Getting the block on the attack there helps, uh... Helps stun him. I'm definitely... Because you can see how much... You can see the green bar there. How much of my, uh... My stamina gets eaten up by using this thing to attack. I definitely want to... Crank up my endurance stat so I have a higher stamina. And, uh... Yeah, that's going to be important. So we'll do that. Vitality, which improves my health. And then Faith, which... You know, gives me more powerful, uh, miracles. And, uh... Will allow me to use Isarok, so you have to have, I think, a faith rating of 24 on that. You got a little distracted there. It felt like it was a, there was a mosquito flying in my ear again. Those buggers have been dive bombing lately. They've been dive bombing me lately. Like, I'm seriously, like, I am prepared to go to war against the mosquitoes. Because they're doing this. Alright, let's, uh, let's move on to this new section here. Here, we got some, uh, some more armored up guys. There's... that's the, uh... Is that one called a parry, or is the block called a... I think that's called a parry. Let's see. A parry, yeah, there we go. Repel the enemy attack. The parries, I honestly have never really used them in this game. I should... maybe I'll try and use them more often in this playthrough. It's one of those timing things that, like, you can get wrong and totally screw you over, and I don't like dying in games. Especially in Demon's Souls, where it can really set you back. So, I get, like, very... I, I just try to play conservatively. This game as a whole, like, Demon Souls, if you're trying to compare this to what Bloodborne is going to be, what we've been told about Bloodborne and what we know from the few seconds of gameplay that have been shown, it's much, uh, much... well, not much faster, but it's... it is faster, it's more aggressive, like, you don't have shields, whereas in Demon Souls, a lot of what you'll do is, you know, you'll hide behind your shield and block attacks, parry, dodge... And then pop out when you when you get your moment to to attack. So here's yeah those little glowing orbs the orbs there uh, represent loot or items or whatever that you can go pick up. So here we go we got a guy with a crossbow. Let him fire miss and then take care of him just like that. He drops something as well so uh, just pick up all this stuff because it is going to carry over outside of the tutorial. So it's nice to have it all. And guys at the top of the stairs here. Come here. See, that's nice. That's that's a very quick attack. I like that. Very just straight head on and you know, take the guys out. Now there's usually something there we go. There's always something there in this tutorial, some uh some half moon grass. So the crescent moon grass, you know, it'll give it gives you back a little bit of health. Half moon gives you more. Then there's uh, late moon, full moon, dark moon. Uh, there's different kinds of grasses that basically give you more health and do have other effects depending on how high you go. Now here we go. This is this guy. Now it's possible to beat him, but I've never done it. Like not in the tutorial. I beat him in the. Uh, Oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh shit, shit. Oh, I survived that. Let's see if I can do it, let's see if I can do it. Oh, no, no! Oh! Oh, oh my god. I'm surprised he hasn't done his butt drop attack. See, you can see my stamina running out on me a bunch. Oh! Oh, there he goes, he got me. He got me. <laughs> I got... I whittled down more than half his health. It was a nice try, but... 
Yeah. You can imagine someone who's picking up this game, or like me. I, I picked up this game, and I knew it was supposed to be hard, but you get in there, and you have a tutorial, and get, oh, there's a boss in the tutorial. And, like, literally, I walked up to him the first time. I didn't really know what to do. And he just swiped at me, and I was done. And it was like, what just happened? What the hell? <laughs> so, yeah. These games are difficult. Some people will say it's just they're actually, like, normal difficulty just compared to today's games and them generally being very easy and stuff being spoon-fed to you. They seem difficult. I don't know. Um, maybe that's true, but... Because I, I, I go back and I try to play Crash Bandicoot and stuff now, I can't do it half the time. It's like, how, how is six-year-old me able to figure this out? This is way too difficult for me now. <laughs> So there's my uh, my character, not wearing a ton of armor. <laughs> Would not have helped me against the vanguard there. He would have wiped me out. It holds together the northern land of Boletaria. Thou canst not exit the nexus, but each of the five arch stones will connect There we go, so now we're on the Nexus, and we'll get an explanation of what that means. You have died, the Nexus has trapped your soul. You cannot escape the Nexus. However, by capturing demon souls, you can reclaim your physical body. So there I have a Nexial Binding. I'm gonna throw my armor back on. Because, why not? Maybe keep that off, just the helmet off, just so I can see my character. And as you can see, I am in soul form, so I've got this little glow to me. I'm kinda, sorta see-through. Well, not really. And my health bar is cut in half. So these parts are going to go on pretty long for this let's play. I want to I want to try and keep things entertaining and sometimes I'll be kind of just going back and forth trying to grind and level my character up so I can move on to another area and not get wrecked. Uh, but what I'm going to try and do in each part of this let's play each episode is kill one of the demons. So get through one of the worlds. So like there's world 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 2 1 2 2 2 3 etc and so on and so forth for the five archstones the five whole worlds. So, my goal will be in each episode, each part of this Let's Play, to finish it off by killing a demon and moving on from that and finishing off that world. So, uh, you can see, you can see the big bad, well not the big, not the big bad, but one of the, the big baddies he'll fight. Right here, the, the red dragon, um, he's just showing up here, we'll, 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 uh, we'll run into him again later. There's a lot of dead bodies in his mouth, though. That's, uh... Quite the mouthful. Man, you can probably hear my controller rumbling like crazy on the microphone. I'm gonna just go in and, uh... Turn the rumble feature off, just so we don't have that, because that's... I can imagine that would get annoying. So let's let's get in here. World 1-1, Bulletarian Palace. There's one guy. He actually, oh, he hit me. I didn't notice that. I gotta be careful here, because, like I said, my health is cut in half, so these guys can drop me pretty quick. I'm not sure if I want to just stay behind my shield and basically use it to turtle. I think that's more effective with a, a, a spear, so I'm gonna just run like this. Down here there is a door that can only be opened when you have pure white world tendency, which will take... I'm not sure I'll be able to get it on this playthrough, because if I don't die at all, and I kill... I suppose I... Does it go up if you kill the dragons? That's the only way I can think of getting pure white in this in this world, is killing all the main bosses and then killing the uh, the dragons. And yes, I said dragons, with an S. There are two of them. Okay, so we got these guys here. I'm gonna I'm just gonna do a big wind up. Well this guy coming to me because my stamina's low. Yeah, I like that. Whoa, hello. You can see that's such a long wind-up just for the standard attack with the one one arm. Uh, actually, how much is the difference in my stamina? There's that versus that. Looks like that uses less stamina, so I'm almost I'm almost tempted tempted to keep my shield out just because of that. All right, got another guy here. Let's try and parry him. No, that didn't work. <laughs> that uh, that hurt a bit. Took a chunk off my health. 
And you're down. So this is where we want to go now. Just carrying some some moon grass. And let's deal with these guys. This guy's got his his little crossbow out. These two guys, I don't want. I'm just gonna try and lure him in here. I don't want to fight him if I don't have to. Come on, yeah! You're dead. <laughs> oh, you had to fall. Die! Ha 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 ha. Okay. Some half moon grass. Now, usually if you're playing online, which is the best way to play this game, there's going to be a bunch of red writing on the floor right here to tell you that there's guys just around the corner. Of course, I said I'm playing offline, so none of that's going to appear. So, hey, look! What's up, bud? And you too. They can, uh, they can do serious damage on you if you don't know they're coming, so... Unfortunately, you don't have the surprise of me getting destroyed like you would if this is my first playthrough. That opportunity may arise if I, uh, if I do a blind playthrough of, say, Bloodborne when that releases. So, uh, I do have it pre-ordered. I pre-ordered it. <laughs> like, so I, the conference was the Monday, and I think I pre-ordered it on the Wednesday. I spent a couple days just trying to figure out, oh, what, which, which games should I, I pre-order? Because Future Shop has an E3 deal they run every year. Where if you pre-order if you pre-order a game, you get ten bucks off from a, a selected list. And it's a pretty you know decent list of, of notable games. Uh, it's ten bucks off if you pre-order two, one or two. If you do three or more, you get twenty bucks off each. So you know, fantastic deal. Even better because the Canadian dollar is kind of weak right now, and game prices jumped up ten dollars. So everything's sixty nine ninety nine. Throw taxes onto that, and in BC you're spending 79 bucks and a couple cents or something like that. 7901, I think, is actually the exact number, um, which really sucks. It's uh, it's like 12 dollars more in total compared to what it is normally. Thankfully for me, I have a giant backlog of games that I can keep playing. <laughs> And PlayStation Plus keeps adding new stuff every month. You don't throw fire at me. No. Bad soldier dude. Okay, so I do have fire bombs here. Hello. Whoa. Okay, okay, you're... Nope. I did that. <laughs> that came up short. There we go. And one more. Ha. Suck on that. Uh, got some dudes here. I'm gonna go without the shield. Ooh, that, uh... Took him out in one shot. Come on. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Yeah. He's got his buddy up here. Let's see if I can, uh... No. Fire throwing is my job. No! Hey! What the... Ah, oh, I wasted a firebomb on you. Okay. Pop out around the corner here. Hello. And you're dead. Oh! Okay, you wanna play that way? And you're dead. <laughs> Still throwing fire, huh? That's, uh, considering how close I am, you got a sword there. That might have been more effective. So we got some stuff back here. It's uh, it's important, at least in the early going here, to pick up just about everything you find because it can be somewhat useful. A lot of it's usually grasses. Later on, you'll have to kind of pick and choose. Come on, th ah, there we go. <laughs> Indiana Jones. Or Indiana Jane, I suppose, since <laughs> my character is, is a female. So that, we picked up a bastard sword there, which is... I don't think I have the strength rating to use it yet. No, I need 18. I've got, like, what's my strength? My strength is 14, so. I cannot use it. At least not in one hand. Uh, mail breakers or whatever. Um, how's the soldier's shield? No, it's. It's D. 
definitely... Well, it weighs less, but it's definitely not as good in pretty much anything else. So I'll keep the heater shield to go alongside my halberd for the time being. I really want to find a spear. Like... Whoa! Mr. Crossbow over here is, uh... There's an Aereo... Uh, Aereo? What is that? An Oreo-covered arrow or something? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it was sticking out of my arm, though. So let's... Hey, 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 hey! Enough of the fire throwing! Stop it! Stop it! Whoa! I want your spear, bro. I'm, uh, getting myself close to getting killed here. I gotta be... I gotta be careful with what I do. Now, down here, there is a red-eye knight. This dude. Hello! Uh, don't... go down there just yet. He's gonna destroy you, basically. And you don't really need to go down to that area to open it up uh, until you get a key that you get in World 1-4. So you really have no reason to go there for quite some time. So, hold off, wait until you're a higher level, and if you play the game like I do, and you basically play uh, and complete every other world before you go finish World 1... Oh, 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 I almost knocked him off the edge! Oh, okay, this is not good. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh. No! Don't heal! There we go. Uh, like I was saying, if you basically play and comp the way I do and complete Worlds 2, 3, 4, and 5 before you come back to finish up World 1, then you're not going to have a problem with that dude once you once you get to him. So let's get down to the bottom of the first tower here, that area we saw when we turned off the main strip, and open it up. Oh, this guy killed himself. On the uh, using fire weapons on the gunpowder barrels is not brilliant. Really not. Should rethink that strategy. This is this area can actually be really tricky for newcomers. I remember I used to struggle with it a lot because you get quite a few guys attacking you, and it's very easy to fall off to your death. So I'm going to be smart here and see these guys are going to. Come play. So I'm just gonna throw a fireball at him. And now I just have one to deal with. Or, oh no, there's three of them. Never mind that. But that takes care of him. And firebombs are not particularly useful anyways. They, their effectiveness goes away pretty quick. So you may as well use them up now when they can, uh, when they can be effective. I'm not gonna miss them, really. Those are, uh... They're not the most effective items. So now we've opened up this gate, and we're back on the main strip. There's the Kling Ring. Now that's a, that's a nice little thing to have, especially when you are in soul form. You can equip two rings at any time. This one in particular, you lose less health points when you are in soul form. So as you can see there, my health bar, my maximum health in soul form just went up. So I'll heal up a bit, and uh, now I have more health. Yay! Now, I'm not going to head back to the Nexus just yet. You can see there's another door there that I need to open up, and that will open up the big gate here. So, back up this tower we go. Man, it's going to be nice when I have uh, <laughs> my character's stats high enough that my equip burden is, uh, is not going to be so screwed over like this. It'll be nice to be able to sprint and roll effectively. I might, I might have to change my armor out as well. I'll uh, go for something lighter, I suppose. Something that will allow me that mobility, which I, I very much like to have. The protection is very nice as well, but I uh, mobility is more important. It's just more important in general to not get hit when uh, when playing this game, I think. So, let's deal with the bad guys up here first. This guy, you've got a firebomb, don't you? You're gonna... I'm just gonna... Oh! <laughs> that backfired a bit. Yeah, see, so he's gonna throw his little... Molotov cocktail-y thingy. Stop it! Die! Jackass. Okay. <laughs> moving on, moving on. 
Bring it! Oh, he's got a halberd too. That's. There. Okay, you're dead. Now, there's a vendor down here. Um, I'm not going to buy anything from him just at this time. Uh, he's going to disappear once I advance further through the level from this location, but he'll show up at other, other locations. He does have a short spear, but I don't have enough souls for it, and I'd like to use my souls right now to upgrade my character anyways. I'm going to be able to... I'll find a spear around here somewhere. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save a character that's chilling out down here. You can see him there. That's Ostrava of Boletaria. I actually built a character based off him. Looks exactly the same. Has the same weapons and everything. It's kind of it's kind of cool. But as I'm getting into New Game Plus and whatnot, I'm struggling a bit because his weapons don't do a ton of damage. So I'm going to turn off all my equipment here because I'm going to... There we go. I'm going to jump down here. Come to Ostrava's rescue. And put my armor back on. That well. So before I hop down there, I'm going to put on the Thief's Ring. This is also useful. Uh, whether you're in soul form or body form, it makes you harder for enemies to, to detect so you can walk around, be kind of stealthy, and uh, get closer without them noticing you. I'm going to pull up my shield here. Oh, fire. No, bad. No, oh, wow. Okay, my health is dangerously low there. Yikes! These, I don't like these fire weapons these guys are using. At all. Oh, man. Alright. That takes care of those guys. Hey, Ostrava, what's up? My th I yeah, yeah. Brass telescope. Not too useful to me. Uh, trying to kill the dude. There you go. <laughs> I totally set that kill up for you, bro. Let's see if I can... I can possibly sneak up behind this dude right here. Let's see if it works. Yeah! Thief's ring at work, ladies and gentlemen. Just made taking out that blue-eyed knight incredibly easy. Now, there is a scimitar over here. I may as well pick it up. Uh... Not that I'm going to really use it at all in this playthrough, because, like I've said a few times, I am I want to use spears with this character. I've never really used spears in the game. Uh, I have a character that is... Again, I have one that, like I said, is based off uh, Ostrava that's pretty much exclusively melee. Then I have another character, very high level, that is uh, pretty well-rounded. Good in melee, in magic, and in uh, ranged bow attacks. But I basically does not use uh, faith at all. Ooh, a lot of guys attacked once. I'm kind of paying for using that big sweeping attack. Did some damage, but I got hit in the process. Ah! Stop it! Kill the last guy. There we go. And heal up. Heal up, heal up, heal up. Got some shards of harp, uh, ha, shards of hard stone and sharp stone in there. <laughs> Bit of a tongue twister if you said that fast, actually. Shards of sharp stone, shards of sharp stone, shards of sharp stone. I'm no, I'm too tired to try this. Um, they're used to upgrade your weapons, so they're nice to collect, but they can weigh you down. So as soon as you get back to the nexus, drop them off in the bank area, sort of thing, the storage area. You'll still be able to use them at upgrades, they're just not carried on your person at that moment. Not weighing you down. God, I love backstabs. It's like backstabs and magic are like super overpowered in this game. Ah! <laughs> I have no stamina to fight back. Well, that was, uh, that was nice. That was actually kind of awesome. Halberd got that huge swing to whack three guys down at once. I like that. Okay. Moving forward. 
I got some I got some baddies here. Let's sneak up on this guy. Now I got really? Now you're gonna you're gonna shoot arrows at me? Let's Alright, moving up. This area can be annoying, I suppose. It's not overly difficult, but there's you know a few guys with crossbows here. Guys that jumped down from uh, that roof there that I did not trigger. They can be incredibly irritating. Now we got we got Mr. Blue Eyed Knight. Oh, wow, that actually hit me. Oh, I ran out of stamina. Heal up and yeah. That's one of the best strategies to use with, uh... See ya! Are you... You're... You're not dead. Ah, uh, whatever. It's one of the best strategies to use with the... Both the blue-eyed and the red-eyed knights. If you get them kind of... They won't come out of that block. Uh, it can be risky. Because it could cause you to have to do more work. But if you back off and kind of goad them into... Uh, going to... Replenish their health. It takes a bit of time. So you can go in for, like, the kill. Now we turn this corner, look, there's a lot of guys there. Rather than fight them all, we got some boulders. So... <laughs> we clear? We're clear? We can walk down here? Yay. Yeah. There you can see, just on the uh, on the ridge over there, our dragon buddies. Not, uh, not to be taken lightly at all, they will destroy you. If you have pure white world tendency, they will, uh, they will not be here in World 1-1. They'll show up later. And uh, you can run out there onto that peak and pick up all the goodies. Uh, so basically, I either have to get pure white world tendency or kill them. And I actually think I'd probably have to kill them both to get world white, pure white. Anyways. So. Oh. That block. Well executed block, but. I got him back! So we gotta cross this bridge, which. Uh, very much easier said than done. First off, lots of bad guys. Let's take care of a couple of them. Second, the second reason you'll see shortly. Might be able to hear him already. There he is! <laughs> so I'm just gonna, from here, I'm gonna take off. And I'm gonna hopefully cross this bridge without getting murdered. Screw you guys. I'm getting off that bridge. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with that dragon. Did, did they forget I was back there already? No, not anymore. Get myself in a bit of trouble here. Come on, come right here and fight me. Come on, Bowman. I'm not. I'm not coming to you. You. I'll just leave you there. I don't even care. Actually. Oh, there's something down here. Uh, soldier souls. We're picking up a lot of souls here, but these are some really like low level stuff, so they don't give you a ton in reward. These, these, like, unknown soldiers' souls and, and stuff like that you pick up throughout levels, and they basically have no use other than to uh, give you souls to spend on upgrades, on uh, leveling up, etc. The demon souls, however, the, the ones you get from defeating the bosses, those can be redeemed from, for souls to spend on, on all sorts of upgrades, but... They can also be used to get uh, new miracles, new spells, uh, unique weapons, uh, and then the colorless demon souls, which are uh, you get from a variety of different demons. Uh, they they can be used to upgrade the named weapons and shields. So well, they all have names, but the stuff that are more, I guess, more unique weapons rather than you know. The Heater Shield, which is kind of a standard thing, which has a bunch of upgrade paths. Then you have something like the Adjudicator's Shield, which uh, has to be upgraded with Colorless Demon Souls, because it is it is a unique weapon rather than 
you know, something that has a bunch of crazy different paths. Stop with the stabby stab! That's my job. You're not dead yet? You will be. No, no, whoa. He's, he's timing those blocks well. Woo. There we go. About time you died. Damn. Oh, that was... A poorly timed attack. So now you're seeing a different enemy here. The Phalanx? Phalanx? I don't know. That's how I say it. These guys are annoying. They're, uh... Of course, they have these giant shields here on the front, you can see. I'm trying to get behind him so I can... Attack his... There we go. They're very weak without their shields. And fire just destroys them. So having um, weapons that you can use, uh, you can enchant with turpentine or, or other spells or curses or um, or just dragon weapons. So stuff that's been upgraded with dragon stone to do fire damage. Very, very effective against these guys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't have, wait, do I not have, oh no, do I not have turpentine? Usually, I can... I better check this out. Oh, I do. Okay. And I was like, usually you pick some up on, on World 1-1. If I don't have any, this is going to cause the boss battle some problems. Because it is uh, very important to success, I find. So I've got some decent health here. I've been, I've been playing kind of carelessly, recklessly, I suppose. So I've had to heal up quite a bit. Have not been using my shield. Not gonna do that as we go forward, as we open this up here. You can. You've already seen that this gate is open, so this is the, uh. The big bad of World 1 1. And, uh, let's go take care of him. I'm just gonna go in here and. Wait, no, I should change my. Breast Telescope, you is useless. I want turpentine, because you will actually be helpful for me right now. So let's enter the fog. Do with the little frame rate slow down, hit myself with the turpentine. And now I do fire damage, additional fire damage for about 60 seconds, I think it is. I gotta be careful here. These guys can uh, do some serious damage. They throw their damn spears as well, I forgot about that. You can see I'm already taking out a few of them here and there. Got to try and clear all these dudes with their shields away so I can get to, uh... The boss inside. Yeah, I can see they heal them up when there's still enough of them attached. But, uh, I'm, start I'm starting to whittle away here. Starting to do some damage. As you can see, he does not like that fire at all. I see my damage drops off quite a bit once I uh, once the turpentine wears off, so let's just get back into cover. Reapply. <laughs> there's there's the roll with all the armor, not very effective. Come back out here and start doing some damage. You can run, but it's really not going to help you much, because you are just about dead. And there we go. The demon has been destroyed. That takes care of that guy. Uh, and that basically wraps up the the first part of this Demon Souls Let's Play. So if you enjoyed it, share it around, like it, do whatever you want to help it gain popularity. I would really appreciate it. And it would let me know that you guys are enjoying it, and to keep it going... Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time after we head back to the, the Nexus here. I picked up the lead Demon Souls, and let's return to the Nexus. See you next time.